Good morning, good morning, and grace and peace to you, and welcome to Fire in the Morning. Hallelujah. We give God praise, honor, and glory for allowing us to make it to Friday, and today is Freedom Friday. Hallelujah. We are declaring that this Friday and every Friday is Freedom Friday. Amen. We thank God that he has made us free, that he has set us free. Glory to God. And today, amen, our declaration includes that we are no more entangled. Hallelujah. And so we're going to go to the word of God. And as we prepare ourselves for this day and for this weekend, we want to set our affections on God and his word and anything that is going to bring us back into bondage we want to steer clear of it we want to make sure that we shake ourselves loose like the vicky wine and song says amen we want to be free stay free walk free think free behave free hallelujah thank you jesus and anything that is remotely connected looks like sounds like smells like feels like bondage we don't want any parts of it we want to make sure that we walk free of it today in jesus name let's go to the word of god this morning amen we're going to go to the book of galatians hallelujah we're going to go to galatians chapter 5 so let's get your bibles and let's look at what the word of god says on this morning hallelujah and we're just going to read this first verse and we're going to go ahead on from here with this first verse galatians 5 and 1 and it says stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith christ have made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage can i read that one more time stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith christ have made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage and i just want to deal with that today amen that we stand fast in the liberty where christ has made us free god has done a work in us he has made us free set us free liberated us from the yoke of bondage amen and he has brought us into a place of liberty freedom and access and we have to be able to stay free from the things that once bound us and even in these in this one verse there's so much that paul is trying to convey to the church in galatia and not just to the church in galatia but even to us today understanding what bondage is understanding what liberty is and being able to walk in it that's why we're calling this freedom friday and we're declaring that we are no more entangled. You know, you can't just go sin and then just walk away. There's an entanglement that comes with involving ourselves with sin, practicing sin, walking under the bondage of sin. You know what I'm saying? And so because of that, we have to understand that liberty is, you know, Jesus paid a high cost for our liberty. And because of that, we want to ensure that we stay free amen remain free walk free think free be behave in such a way that we understand amen that we have been made free so i want to give you a few definitions amen um on this morning this word entangle he says stand fast let me go word by word and then that'll help us out first so it says stand fast therefore in the liberty where will christ have made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage now i want i want to put emphasis on something in this verse where he says be not entangled again that means that you have control of this that means that there is something that you have to do there's a choice that you have to make there's a decision that you have to make there is there is behavior that you have to choose amen so that you are not entangled again with the yoke of bondage amen that bondage once we have been made free from it if we go back to it it's because we have chosen it can i say that again bondage once we be made we've been made free from it 
if we go back to it, amen, it's because we have chosen it. You got to choose, amen, to stay away from bondage. You got to choose not to be entangled again. You got to choose, amen, to remain in the liberty. Christ has already made you free, but you got to choose to stay in it. Now, that means that you can't be practicing sin. You can't be, you can't be, uh, uh, testing it out to see how much you know how far you can go or how much you could get involved in without getting tangled up in it there's no way that you're going to be able to practice sin try sin amen pre preview your sin and not be entangled with it because sin comes with it and entanglement hallelujah glory to god so let's look at this word stand fast this word stand fast is from the greek word stekete or stake all right and it means to stand firm to persist to keep one's standing to persevere to be unmoved and to be stationary so what he's saying is once you've been made free stay there hallelujah this stand fast means amen to persevere that means you have to press in to liberty it's already been made available to you but you got to press into it you got to make sure that you endure in it you got to make sure that nothing pulls you out of it hallelujah glory to god you got to make sure that you keep it listen it's just like somebody give you twenty dollars you know you got to keep that twenty dollars whether or not you go to the walmart and spend it all up in one spot in one day that's entirely up to you you got to decide that i'm going to keep this twenty dollars i'm not going to go in the store and as i go in the store everything i see on, on the aisles you know it's calling me come on buy me come on take me to the register come on take me home with you that's what sin does does to us you know what i'm saying we've already been made free and sin is calling out to our liberty and saying come on take me up again pick me up again take me home with you let me be stuck with you again come on amen and so you gotta find yourself not in in in, in the place where you are walking back into that sin and finding yourself that that you're not persisting in staying free that you're not persevering in and stay free you got to press in to stay free okay now some things the enemy is not going to tempt you with but whatever things he does come because everybody got a red wagon okay and whatever your little red wagon is he's coming for it and he wants to make sure that he try to bring that thing back to life you want to put pretty big wheels on it you know what i'm saying he want to shine it up and he want it to look good and he wants you to grab that handle and drag it on behind you but you got to choose amen that you are not glory to god going to be entangled again hallelujah with the yoke of bondage you're not going to allow yourself to be moved this means to be stationary he said be stationary therefore in your liberty hallelujah persevere in your liberty keep your liberty stand in your liberty stand firm in your liberty refuse to be moved out of your liberty that's what you got to understand hallelujah no more entangled this is freedom friday i've been set free and because i've been set free i'm choosing hallelujah to stay free glory to god amen so he said stand fast or persevere in Keep your standing in, per persist in, stand firm in, therefore, the liberty. This word, liberty, hallelujah, is from the Greek word, the Greek word, eleutheria, which means freedom, liberty, a state of freedom from slavery. It is one who is free born, okay? One who ceases to be a slave. That means that you are exempt from from the, the 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 lifestyle of slavery you are not under the obligation of slavery don't you know that sin comes with the obligation if you get entangled up with sin because see you never gonna sin by yourself contrary to popular opinion listen to me usually when we go sin we don't go sin alone usually we end up sinning with somebody else even if you go and find yourself going to the to the bar to go get drunk you're not going to drink by yourself nobody wants to drink by themselves how i know because i used to be an alcoholic and i didn't like drinking by myself i had to find me a partner i need somebody to turn up the glass with come on here somebody and so be honest you got to understand what this scripture is telling you you know that your sin want to be coupled up with somebody 
somebody else to sin with you. And this is what the scripture is saying. Stay free from that. You're not under any obligation. Hallelujah. To go back into that old lifestyle. And then once you go in there and you start sinning with somebody else, there's an obligation that comes with it. Okay? And it makes you a slave. It means that you can't let go of it. It means that it binds you up. It means it puts shackles on you and drags you. What used to be your red wagon that you was pulling, now is pulling you. And so this is why, you know, Paul is speaking to the Galatians church and he's saying to them, listen, persevere, therefore, keep your standing, therefore, hallelujah, in your free born life, in the life that he has made you free in because you are born again in Christ, stay free from the obligation that drags you back into sin, and see, you may not feel it in your heart obligated to sin, but your flesh feels obligated you can't go sin just once and walk away sin wants you to sin and keep sinning that desire rises up and will cause you to want to keep running into sin again and again hallelujah so he says stand fast in the liberty where with christ have made us free hallelujah made us free and be not entangled now let me tell you this word eleutheria he says liberty so he's saying freedom and freedom it's the same thing so he's saying stand firm persist in the freedom from slavery that christ has freed you from or made you exempt from okay he the life that he's made you exempt from and be not entangled hallelujah this word entangled is 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 a nekaste. that's the greek word and it means to hold and remain, to be subject to, to be bound by sin and guilty and worthy of punishment. Hallelujah. This is saying don't be held in it. Like I said, you're not. the flesh is such that it doesn't want you to go sin and sin once. It wants to suck you all the way in. It wants to pull you in lock, stock, and barrel. Heart, mind, spirit, body, everything about you. Bind your will to it so that you can't control yourself hallelujah it's like it's like a drug addict you become a sin addict you can't just sin once you got to sin again and again and again and again because your flesh your desires hallelujah your lust want to be quenched and the only way they're going to be quenched is that you have to feed it and keep feeding it it's like a monster it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and i know it was years 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 ago there was a movie called the blob and and and, and i don't know if you've ever seen it but but just to give you a little mindset about or picture of what it's like it's kind of like that blob that it was this little like uh, uh it started out as a little ball looks like jelly and then every time that blob would roll over whatever it desired which was people and lives sin is the same way and it would just roll over these lives and roll over these people and everything that the blob sucked into itself it just became bigger and bigger and bigger until it was just ginormous and it was it was you know overtaking the streets and it's the same thing with sin sin the more you feed it the more it wants and and the lust and the desires of it gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it overtakes you and so this is why you got to understand now and, and now everybody's not going to go out and sin in the same way you know and you might say well listen i'm not going out and so i'm not sleeping around i'm not going out and i'm not smoking and i'm not cussing people out you know and i'm not bound in homosexuality i'm not bound in fornication and adultery i'm not caught up with that stuff but no you might have a bad attitude you 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 might have an affinity for cussing people out you you might have you might have a bad temper where you go off on people you know what I'm saying? And you can't control your 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 impulses, you know what I'm saying, to knock people out. You know, whether it be with your fist or your mouth. Those are things as well that we have to bring back in unto a under alignment of the spirit. And so this is what the scripture is talking about. All of these impulses, all of these urges, all of these things that drive us away from God and drive us back into our flesh. Okay? Let's keep reading. Okay, he says, be not entangled again with the yoke. Yoke is to join, to couple on the law or obligation. Okay, to be obligated with slavery from law and sin. So what this is, this is the mindset of you don't just sin 
and then there's no consequence. The yoke comes from the law of sin, so then you end up being governed by the yoke of the law of sin, which then controls you. And not just that, he was also reminding them of the law of Moses. Now you're going to find yourself being judged. You're going to sin and then be judged. This is what the yoke is. And then the yoke is also sin and guilt. Guilt for what you have done. Not being able. Isn't it something that when you do wrong, when we do wrong, it's hard for us to come back to God and just say, we're sorry. Lord, forgive me. But instead, we we, we run from God. We retreat from God. We do like, like, like uh, Adam did in the garden. And we go hide ourselves. We hear God calling us. We know we meet with God and God comes down to meet with us at certain times. We hear him walking around in the, in the garden in the cool of the day. But instead of us running to him to say, Father, forgive me. I've sinned and this is what I've done. Instead, we act like God doesn't know and we go hide hide ourselves and so this is what he's talking about about that yoke the yoke of bondage of sin itself the law of sin that takes over and the guilt that accompanies it okay and then we find ourselves running from god instead of running to god hallelujah glory to god all right and he says be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage let me tell you about this bondage real quick and then we're going to close and pray all right, this word bondage is from the Greek word douleia, which is slavery, bondage, a condition of a slave to obey, submit to, in a bad sense, of those who become slaves to some base power to yield, give oneself up to, and then also douleo, involuntary or voluntary giving up of yourself, doulos. One who gives himself up to another's will, devoted to another, to the disregard of one's own desires or interests. Do you understand what sin does? It overtakes us. That we become slaves. And, and for some of us here in America, we don't have an idea of really what it is to be slaves. You know, um, regardless of what has happened to any of us uh, or our families or whatever, depending on whatever your, you, you know, your, your ancestry is. Listen to me. The idea or the connotation of this kind of slavery to sin comes with it that you have no will. You don't think. You don't, you don't make choices. You don't tell yourself when to go to bed. You don't tell yourself when to get up. You have no will. You have given your will over to another. Who is another? Sin becomes the other. And, and it's kind of like a, a picture that that um, that really fits this is one of a drug addict that is driven by the desire to satisfy that longing for that drug, that longing for that high, looking for that high, whether it be in a bottle, whether it be in a needle, whether it be through sniffing something or whether it be through smoking something. You just can't control it. When you get up, it's calling you. When you're walking through the day, it's calling you and you're running after it. In the evening, when you lay down, it's calling you and it's, you're running after it. You're getting up out of the bed. You can't sleep because you're running after that desire. This is what Paul is talking about. He's saying, listen, be firm in your liberty because if you don't, if you don't preserve this place of liberty that you have been born into, you will find yourself a slave running after a desire that to fulfill a desire that you have no control over. You will sell your life to this place of bondage. You will become a slave to that thing because guilt will control you and prevent you from going back to God and running you back further into your sin and into your bondage. This is what he's trying to, to convey to the, to, to the uh, Galatian church. And this is what God is saying to you today. It is Freedom Friday. You have been born again. Hallelujah. Not by corruptible seed, but by incorruptible. And this liberty that is yours, it is yours because you have been born again into it. And there's nothing, no one, no thing, nobody that you have to submit yourself to 
that will cause you to run after it other than God. Yield yourself to God. Don't be entangled by the yoke of bondage. Don't be entangled by this world. This world has many entanglements. Lust of the eyes, as the scripture says. The lust of the flesh and the pride of life. These things that are of this cosmos, of this world, that reach out after us. Listen, you don't have to be entangled. Christ have made us free. You don't have to be bound by your attitude. You don't have to be bound by telling people off. You don't have to be bound by your temperament. You don't have to be bound by thoughts that seem to control you. You don't have to be bound, amen, by low self-esteem. You don't have to be bound, amen, by feeling like you are stuck in what you're going through. You can understand today that this is your Freedom Friday and that you don't have to be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. You don't have to run after that thing anymore because Christ has made you free. He that the Son has set free is free indeed. You hear that? He that the Son has set free is free indeed. You don't have to chase after nothing. You don't have to follow after no desire you other than following after Christ and desiring him. Hallelujah. We're going to pray today. Amen. Even as you get ready to go into your weekend and you go into your day today. Tell yourself, I am free. And he that the Son has set free is free indeed. I don't have to be stuck in my bondage. I, or It's not even my bondage because I've given it over to God. I don't have to yield to it. I don't have to, amen, be stuck in this thing. I don't have to be driven by it. I don't have to follow after it. But all I have to do, amen, is give myself to Christ and let him keep me. Standing fast in the liberty where he's already made me free. Hallelujah. No more entangled. Not shackled. Not cuffed to. Hallelujah. Not tied to. Hallelujah. Not giving my will over to any desire or anything but Christ. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for our listeners on today. I pray, God, that on today, Freedom Friday, and even if it's Monday, even if it's Wednesday, or whatever day they may listen to this broadcast on, I pray that they would hear your word on today, and that, God, they would stand fast, hear the command, lead the charge to stand fast, Hallelujah. In the liberty where Christ has made us free. God, it is up to us. You are leaving the choice up to us to stand in this place that we have been born again into. And Father, I pray right now that every shackle be destroyed. Every mindset that's not like you. Let it come subject to the name of Jesus. To the blood that Jesus shed on Calvary. We declare and decree that we are free. And he that the Son is set free is free indeed. We curse every habit, every addiction every spirit that will cause us to be driven oh God after anything but you let our love for you drive us let us be slaves to Christ and not slaves to the old man slaves to Christ and not slaves to sin slaves to Christ and not bound hallelujah by anything else that would drive us Oh God, contrary to what you have provided for us through your salvation. And Father, we thank you today. Hallelujah. That we are no more entangled. We don't have to be entangled. We choose not to be entangled. Hallelujah. Because it is left to us. Because you have already caused us to be born again as free men and women in Jesus name and father we thank you right now hallelujah for our liberty we speak liberty over our children we speak liberty over our families we speak liberty from our minds in our minds from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet and those that we come in contact with father that are not free we pray God that you would give us the grace to share with them this great liberty that you have provided for as many as will believe in Jesus Jesus name and father we bless you today we honor you we magnify you we thank you for those that are listening thank you God that we are walking in freedom and we are no more entangled by the yoke of bondage hallelujah no more entangled hallelujah by this world and the rudiments of it in Jesus name God bless you it's freedom Friday and you're no more entangled God bless you Today, the never end. Would you come to die? And-